Hello and welcome back to Soulstorm LP. I'm of course a game operator and narrator. So welcome back to the Pegasus Expedition. Uh, where we left off, things are not looking well for us at the moment. We've got uh well, we got some troubles. We got we got some big troubles here. Uh the biomass. I'm just kind of curious if it's because maybe we need to purge. Um purge the system let's have a look at actually dump into the system can we get it into the system we can if we have to purge the biomass from the systems to prevent any sort of sneaky actions by them to get around our blockades but i'm not seeing that option so that just means that the biomass has the ability to bypass our blockades so we can't actually leave anything chance here we need as much coming back into the system as support support as we possibly have even if the fleets aren't ready we started the push we have to end it Ugh. which is just it's just awesome let's go ahead and have a look at these fleets here we happen to have in the reserve and we're going to strip you out and get you all set up And all of your ships are terrible. We'll get these cleaned up. We are going to leave a handful of fleets back in uh, the Pegasus Galaxy here. Just because we might have uprisings coming up behind us while we're trying to push the portal location. Which is not good. <laughs> it's not great. It's not, the, it's not the worst, but it's not good. So we'll have, to, we'll have to figure something out. I have no idea what we're going to be doing. Aside from trying to scramble as quickly as we can and get that portal established. It's it's up in the air, folks. Oh my goodness. And let's do some bounce out some artillery as well. Uh, you have artillery damage and interceptors. So let's give you... Four cruisers, four carriers, and four artillery. So it's going to be at least three turns before all of these groups or all these fleets are ready to rock. This group, however, is ready to go. Uh, this group of 58 can probably come right on back here. And we can probably get them fitted out. Eesh. Yeah, we're going to have to fix this. Ay, ay, ay. Well, no one ever said this was going to be easy. And that's all right by me. You're going to be straight cruisers. We are running low on rare earth, but we have just enough to get everything all set up. Man. All right, back to the Fallen Galaxy here. And keep everybody here in place. Make sure that we have defense stations going back up in the systems we just had to reclaim. We are at least two jumps out. We got to where we need to go. And we are going to need all of these support fleets here as quickly as possible we can push a wedge up this way one two and three the fleets we do have coming in fingers crossed oh here comes the defense this is going to slowly take a toll on us hopefully fingers crossed uh the repair functions will still work even if we have to defend ourselves She's going to have to be a wait and see. Lost one ship. Oh, no. Uh, I'll use our 643. The 724 fleet is actually still in pretty good, decent shape. Let's see if we can rotate. 
And we have defensive stations all set up, so that's even better. They get tied up fighting the defensive stations, that's fine by me. That means it's less time for them actually engaging our fleet. And the defense stations can come back after a time. Uh, 556 is somewhat in better shape. Fingers crossed. Get everybody all tied up fighting stations. I think we did manage to do that without any losses. Um, 409 fleet is in rough shape. Let's get the 704. Easy. Uh, they're still trying to sneak in behind us. Man. We're going to have to double up and get some fleets repaired. They are in dire need. Wow, and they rickrolled us on this one. That was weird. But uh, victory imminent did not last very long at all, did it? Okay, so that's another fleet lost, man. The two fleets over here. One can push up here. Bring another three in. The 603 over this way. Retake the system and put that 309 fleet over here for defense. It must have been an all carrier fleet or something. It seems like the carriers are wildly underpowered in this game, which kind of makes sense to an extent, I guess. Uh, it does look like the fleets that we're defending did repair. Somewhat. So I guess that's a bonus. Right, let's bring in the next three. Relations with the colony are deteriorating. Dude, just... I don't know what to tell you, man. Just kind of ease back for a minute. All right, we get both of these through the portal. Man, oh man. All right, 783. Let's move you up. We will take this system, I think. Um, that's going to be tie them up for six turns. That's not going to be cool. Another repair station here, just in case. Look at six forty-four. Try and crush this system. I think this is a dead end system, anyways. And if nothing else, at least those powerful fleets won't be sitting there. Good. This Nemesis fleet. I want to sit for repairs and see what actually comes back. Um, 
As far as everybody else goes... Use our 695 here. We'll use the more powerful one to try and breach here. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. This is already more dicey than I thought it was going to be. It's supposed to be just a simple milk run, you know. Blast through the flood. Blink back up with Earth. See how everybody's doing. Hopefully everybody's cool. Nobody's upset that we haven't talked in a while. Or wondering where the heck we are. Eh. Uh, okay, we'll drive this group up. <laughs> uh, that's all right. We got this. We got this. Maybe. Maybe we got this. If we can do this with very little damage, I'll be happy. Now, the portal fleet itself. Try and bring you up. And I think, uh, what are the next three fleets ready to go? You guys will be done. One more, one more turn, two, and then four turns. Four turns total. Whew. And that's everybody. Everybody we can spare to bring back. Almost everybody. run these guys up. A little expensive, but we got uh, three more fleets ready to go. Those guys are staying in Anaba. And you, I would love to have you up here in reserve. Eight hundred for you, and these last two fleets here. Bring them up as well, and that's going to be a majority of my fleet power going into the next galaxy. So if things kick off back here, um, suffice to say, I think we're probably going to wind up turtling. If it's more than what these three fleets here can cover. Actually, you know what? Let's bring our operative over, too. It's because I'm slightly evil like that. Ah, not enough energy left. Ooh, I... Ooh. Burn the, uh... Burn the energy reserves, I see. Alright, what do you got? Nothing too bad. Everybody dog piled on group one pretty quick. Ah, taking losses we can't afford. Come on, boys. Damage, but not bad. We'll leave the portal fleet. We might need you for later. We don't want you getting completely TKO'd. There might be words for people when that happens. So we'll try and avoid that as much as possible. All systems, all at once. I think the biomass doesn't want me here.
Mind you, I don't think the biomass wants anybody around anymore. That they're extremely hungry. After generations of nobody sticking around. This might get dicey. We'll see. A little bit much on the damage side. Every lost ship is one more ship we can't afford to lose. I think I'm going to use uh, the 555. Keep that 724 in reserve. Yeah, scattered defenses? Sure. Put some teeth to our stations. Oh my goodness. Come on, lads. Let's do this. Is that the last one? One more? Ah, uh, scattered defenses. Pile up on our stations. Uh, the 398 might actually be in better shape than the 532. Mainly because we're going to use some uh, heavy ordnance to get rid of these guys. Or at least soften them up anyways. Here we go. Battle is joined. Heavy damage, but no losses, so that's good. Ah. Uh, director, we have a situation on our hands, an insurrection to be precise, and in Anaba of all places. The Anaba movement has managed to put together a red tank fleet, has invaded the Anaba system. This clearly calls for military intervention. Ah, uh, yes it does. We'll put a, we'll put a quick end to this. Hi. Can I fight? Okay, so we'll do this. And then we're going to do this. Yeah, that's enough out of you guys. I may be busy, but I'm not too busy. The Anaba movement has been destroyed. They had some courage and guts going against their military machine with their sad collection of armed trade vessels. But courage won't take you far without the military power to back it up. This is the end of the Taminan independence movement. Good. Don't be too harsh on the cleanup. We're trying to build a lasting peace here. Maybe that freed up three fleets? I'm hoping it kind of did. Let's get you guys through the portal. Nope. I did have one fleet sitting here. Send one up there. Send 712 over that way. And the 414 will just drop right in here. Obviously, we don't want to lose that system, so we're going to make sure there's at least one group there. All times. Because, I mean, that'd be kind of... 
wild, to say the least. Uh, we'll keep trying to push out as much as we can. Next three. Line on up, you're in. I think this second group will be ready in one turn. It will. We'll bring those two up at the same time. Okay, so how far can we push it? And drop this group in... Here? And drop this group in... Here. Let me take this 588 group. This is gonna hurt. Try and break it and get that location set up so we can drop the portal fleet in here this turn. Let's do it. Heavy weapons authorized. Did match driving back. Nice. All right, portal fleet. It gets you on location. This is it, sir. The connection has been established. Our just runs like a dream. For the divine wrath of a god. It's something we've never seen before. Now we'll open the portal, assess the situation, and deploy our long-range weapons. By which I mean, Argus. The power of half a galaxy. We should be able to make a difference with it. Yes. However, it is going to be out of our hands. Your jurisdiction ends where the Milky Way begins, Director. This may be a little frank, but your work here is done, sir. Yeah, the end of the Pegasus Expedition and the beginning of Operation Argus. So be it. The expedition is over. Open the portal. It is over. The Pegasus Expedition has served its purpose. And for better or worse, it's over. The Tamanin Empire we beat into the ground, just to pick its pieces up again. Admiral Ifar Sunui is the new emperor, under our benevolent protection. The Zos Alliance, however, is the rising power of the Pegasus Galaxy. Kosser Kare Zos is ambitious and powerful and may yet define its next era, the one without us. The Roar Clan. We cleanly finished what we started the first day we arrived. Their last stand at Shioko was taken down with ease. The anchor room and their creation, the biomass. We put an end to their next step of controlled evolution and save them in the pro- And Admiral Reed. He may have once been a great leader, but this Pegasus Republic of his, there's only one reward for treachery like that. And Hartley made sure they gave it to him the moment we handed him over. But most importantly, the Project Argus worked. The amount of power we channeled through the portals was enough to power anything. And that's what we did. When we finally returned, the line was still holding. With reinforcements and unlimited supply through the portal, we did it. We stopped them. For the first time in our history, in our almost century-long war, we had achieved a victory. It may take countless sacrifices and unwavering courage and will to push them back. But by the Earth and everything our species has ever done, we have the courage and we have the will. The expedition is over. And thanks to it, we are finally able. And oh, 
We will fight back. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Pegasus Expedition. Thoughts on the game? It was actually not too bad. I, I enjoyed my time going through it. Um, if I were to say anything, um, I think the last fight should have been fought with whatever we had on location for the final portal, or given us one turn to get fleets into position, and then have a pitched fight against the Colossus. Like, we've never seen them. Uh, I think that would have been a good fitting end to take everything that you've put together, have your most advanced fleets ready, and then run the risk of actually losing that final fight if you didn't have, say, tier three ships or didn't have sufficient fleet power and make it so that way it would actually run through all the fleets you brought. So that way, if your first fleet were to fail, you'd have your second back up and your third for, like, for, for the groups of people who didn't research everything in the tree didn't research sufficient enough tiers of additional ships or uh, flagships you know make it make it a little bit more interesting get that uh, that real threat of you've come so far and there's that chance you could stumble at the finish line right that's not to say that it's not a bad game this is actually a good game it's probably one of the the first visual novels i've actually played and it's certainly the first one for the channel but I played again? Well, I might have to because uh, it turns out that a lot of achievements for the game actually got released after I started the initial playthrough and they didn't actually retroactively come into uh, and activate the account. So at some point, I'll probably wind up playing it on my own time. Oh. Director, the situation is dire. Was that supposed to sound like me or Dr. Lorenz? You, definitely you. Yeah, Lorenz would have said something more like, Director, the situation appears to be almost dire. True, he would have. Ahem. Excuse me. I presume we do have some actual reason for this meeting? Correct. We are officially standing down. Our legal authority as the leadership of the Pegasus Expedition ends with this meeting. Well, what happens now? I'm going home. I just talked with my brother Milan from the pilot deck. We've done enough for humanity for now. It's time to do something for ourselves. Can't wait to get my feet on the ground. I'll return to my pharmaceutics company. They've managed to stay somewhat afloat without me, but uh, they do need me. The need appears to be almost dire. can imagine. What about you, Evan? I'm retiring. I'm well past the required age. Think you'll be fine now without all the excitement? More than fine. I've had enough for that for one lifetime. I heard there are three new grandchildren and two terriers waiting for me. <laughs> Odie, have you had enough as well? Well, actually, I'm staying. I'll remain in command of the fleets that will stay in Pegasus. The young have the energy. The young? What are you employing? Nothing, nothing. But please make sure we'll keep treating our allies properly here. They were very important, too. Of course. I'm still going to need them. The situation isn't that stable once we remove our best fleets. Now, please, no more talk of that. How about you, Director? What are your plans? I'll return to Earth. Look for another position in the Union Administration, I guess. Given the success of our mission, you'll surely be offered something suitable, sir. Yeah, and this is also officially the last time I'm calling you sir. Sir. And there it was. No more formalities. So, it's about time to wrap this up. We made it. I'm still a bit surprised by that. Me too. We won a battle against the Colossals, but not the war. However, we gave humanity the means to win the war as well. It's time to give away to others. Their job will be to do that. So, goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, Evan. Ah, oh, don't screw up the German. Auf Wiedersehen. Come visit me sometime. Auf Wiedersehen, Dr. Lorenz. I probably screwed that up. If I screwed that up, let me know in the comments. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Um, Dovizenja, you're always welcome to Sar Sarajevo as well. 
Dobi Denja, <laughs> Carolina. <laughs> All the best, Director. This will be my command room from now on. You've been a great example and a great leader. Thank you. All the best to you as well. Thank you, Director. I suppose that's all? That's all. Oh, well, Grand Admiral Ferran. And that's it. That's all. That's the game. Finished on Warmonger, too. What a thing. <laughs> now, if I can remember what my thoughts were, we talked about the last battle being a little bit more pitched. Uh, I know there's been some changes to the game as well since I started the playthrough. It's a little easier when you start out. It's not as fast-paced or as tense as it used to be. However, I know there have been some changes for the first part that also make it extremely more punishing if you fall behind, as it were. Now, would I recommend this game for anybody? You know, if you're interested, I, I enjoy it. I would strongly recommend that uh, if you wanted to test it out and see if there's potentially other things to do, you know, maybe even some additional storylines that may pop up on the ending that we didn't get to see, then yeah, sure, I would suggest that so you go ahead and check it out. I know it's available on Steam. I know it's still kind of... Um, well, it has been fully released. It's still making some changes, some tweaks and, and whatnot, and bug reports and whatnot. So uh, I, I know we missed pretty much the main storyline for the Ancorum because we skipped ahead and triggered something a little bit earlier than we were supposed to with the biomass. But uh, I think that... Uh, I think that's a storyline that would probably be worthwhile checking out. Is it possible to go ahead and be friends with everybody in the galaxy? Entirely possible as well. We never did delve too deep into the uh, diplomatic side of things, aside from when we absolutely had to. I've never been much of a diplomat myself, so it was never really my strong forte, but I can certainly see how being diplomatic and maintaining those diplomacies throughout the game would be far more beneficial, especially versus like the option of Everybody loving you versus everybody in the galaxy suddenly wanting, suddenly wanting to destroy you when you have your fleet spread across the galaxy and are unable to defend your territory. That's always fun. So, with that being said, this video will be coming out on Saturday. I know the, the previous video mentioned something about being the last video of the year. I figured there wasn't much time left in the Pegasus Expedition. I figured it'd probably be worthwhile doing one extra video. So, with that being said, Monday will be a brand new series of Battletech Rogue Tech because I love to punish myself. We're starting brand new as mercenaries. We'll see how far we get on that one. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your support throughout the series run. I greatly appreciate it. I have seen numbers on my channel I have not seen in ever, ever. Uh, the Pegasus Expedition was clearly a hit. I hope you enjoyed your time with it. I enjoyed my time playing it. I hope you're entertained. Stay warm. Stay safe. Happy New Year. Make sure to spend some time with your family. And I'll see you all in 2023. Take care, everybody.